fellow viewers and potential subscribers. I don't have the enthusiasm to shout right now. Sorry about that. <laughs> My mom's in the other room, and I can't talk loud. She's she got might, a whisper show. She might. Got I, gotta pull, show. I gotta play Mario Kart DS at... 9.30, past my bedtime. Get out of my room! I'm <laughs> playing Minecraft, but... I thought you said you didn't have the energy to shout, and you literally just shouted. I just said I'm tired. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I, I can I can fight through it's this. It's okay. It's fine. I hope you have a nice Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> nice Christmas. I'm never gonna... Do you like know about that guy? Episode, or... <laughs> Do you know Wait, about that, that guy, Recon? The streamer? He's, like, playing Black Ops 4, and he, like, pounds his desk. He's like, fuck you! I hope you and your family have a nice Christmas. <laughs> like just... Honestly, uh, I don't think I've watched a single bit of gameplay of Black Ops 4. No, that's... Like, that game just went over my head. Well, it did for me too, but that moment is iconic, to say the least. <laughs> the only Twitch streamer that I watch is Swifter. I'm not sure if you guys heard of him, like a bold guy. He does a lot of um, no. like custom MC. games and Call of Duty. <laughs> it's like FitMC. Bald guy? Mm. Yeah, just just a random bold guy. <laughs> <laughs> just any old. Bold you watch guy. an Agent Forty Seven play? Uh, <laughs> custom exactly. Games. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess we could jump back into what we were talking about before. This we started the podcast. Did we even intro the podcast? We did. We don't need to. Oh. We only, okay. Right, I guess I like intro move. it. Only three of us again today, because <laughs> Caleb, I texted him. And I'm going to throw him under the bus. He was like, bro, I just woke up. I got to shower, get grocery. It was just like, it was over for him. <laughs> the day I hadn't even started. And then Zanny's like, fatigued think we are too. recording this at a reasonable time for everyone to be able to attend. Zanny's like, nah, man, I've been recording for the whole day. I am tired right now. I don't fucking care. I've, I'm tired too. I'm here. It's fine. Just, <laughs> just come. It's not like man, anything no. takes the energy from your voice away or anything. Like They can still talk. You're not deaf or mute. Because you've been recording for the He's whole He's got a sign language the whole podcast. Yeah, if, I mean, <laughs> just get Do like more a... code. I wonder if that exists. Webcam. Like, if there's a. Well, like a sign language yeah, like podcast? A... No, I mean, well, I'm sure there is. It can't be a podcast because I mean... podcasting means like audio only. All the right. podcasts have evolved to like shows, literally. So like I a Morse code like... podcast. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, World War II podcast. No, I wonder yeah, if there's I'm... like a, uh, a deaf one. That'd be kind of cool. I'm sure there is. It's just we haven't heard about it because we never. I'll have the need to search for it. I'm googling it right it, now. Well, I mean, I don't think deaf people sure. have heard of it either. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Good one, dude. I found one. It's de- it's called Deaf help. Podcast. It's literally what it's, it's called. called it's got one of seven wow. subs, forty videos. There's also. Uh, I there's mean, also... if I was to make a podcast like that, I wouldn't call it a deaf podcast. Like, if you're gonna make something like that, at least make an interesting title. Okay, there's another one called Earwolf. That looks like it's a deaf one. So that one looks pretty hype. That's a cool name, Earwolf. Hmm. It's better than Deaf Podcast. I can dig it. Yeah, I, I can dig it. <laughs> better than <laughs> Crate Room. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, dude, Crate Room is iconic. I just see like these recommended videos. Deaf Frat Guy announces that Smitty has been taped or something. Yeah, <laughs> like... watch. You're going to watch like two or three of the videos, even for a split second. Your recommendation list on YouTube is going to be filled with deaf podcasts for the rest of your life. Like, Just, just be careful because the recommendation feature on YouTube is just so broken. You watch one video that you just accidentally click and then all of a sudden your recommendations are just glitched. Like... <laughs> Watch one video about Gold, Golden Ramsey shouting at people. That's all you're going to see for the next but week or so. To be like... fair, though, like, you can't just watch one Gordon Ramsey video when you watch Gordon <laughs> Ramsey. Like, <laughs> no. that never, you're never like, I'm, you're, okay, you're I'm watching. Good. You're what watching are you, an idiot sandwich? You're watching, a, you're, you're watching, you're watching at least 50, like, full episodes, clips. You're trying to find, you know, like, you're not just watching one. This just doesn't you see, work. And you know what else, though? It's like, you get you get invested in those videos, and it's like, you're watching it for Gordon Ramsay, but then you, like, start noticing the dumb shit that, like, the restaurants are doing. It's like, I cannot believe that they're doing that. Like, what? <laughs> you're like, if I it's not even about Gordon Ramsay anymore. <laughs> like, it's, it's, like, it's not even about Gordon, Ra- Gordon part Ramsay. Part of you just knows most of it is scripted, but then that little part of you that thinks, like, is this real? Is that real? <laughs> yeah. Do people really do those kind of things? Do people really have, like, just... 10 year old chicken in the kitchen like what the fuck like yeah like no. the episode where there's a pigeon in the kitchen and he's like I think that pigeon's stage. lucky to be alive is the most living thing of me <laughs> and then the people they have the dead lobster like i think that's real because a lot oh, that one. lobsters yeah. are so like comatose when they get in that temperature of water right it's hard to even tell 
what uh you know they're they're breathing quotations <laughs> like whatever lobsters do that's why some restaurants have those fish tanks with lobsters swimming around if you don't have any lobsters that are still alive just take one out of there and be like guys dude <laughs> problem solved i don't know about you guys but lobster like not the taste of it but i just hate crustaceans like i hate the way they look i, I have like... never tasted any proper seafood in my life you never had like I crab don't... like crab ragoons or something i've never had sushi anything, like not even a shrimp or anything sushi i had sushi that's yeah seafood. like normal fish like cod and that's proper that seafood. Kind of thing, but... Yeah, but not like, you know, exotic seafood, like the kind of stuff that you only see in a restaurant. Not the kind of stuff that you go to Asda or Tesco or whatever kind of stores you guys have. Um, but... Well, we don't have Tesco, <laughs> but... <laughs> or do we? The grocery, the grocery market, like, whatever. <laughs> uh, well, I mean... So, Yeti, hold on. You, you're saying you don't like crustaceans because of the way they look? I don't, or talking, I don't like... You don't like You don't like eating them? No, I'm either. fine with eating them because like, I think okay. crab's delicious and lobster... Crab is delicious. Yes. Lobster's good and... Uh, I was going to say crawdad, but I haven't had crawdad. Like, I don't think. Crawdad's it's shrimp. Funny. But, like, I don't know what it was. They just look dumb. <laughs> they just look... They just f- creep me out, man. Like, the, all the little tendrils and, like, little... Yeah. Uh, I just... I think it literally st- you know that Mr. Bean movie that came out came out like ages ago, and he has like one of the shrimps. He's like holding a shrimp uh, with a face, like they have the face on the shrimp. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking I about? <laughs> I don't think I know what you're talking about now. I just like had, I think I remember that scene. I saw yeah. that when I was a like kid. Like he wiggles it around. Yes. and he's like examining it. Yeah, and I was like, I just don't like that. Like, cause I didn't realize a shrimp had a face. Cause like when you're a kid, you just like, oh, you what you eat you is what you think it is. Thing. Yeah. Hmm. So it's when you buy them chicken nuggets that are actually like in the shape of a little dinosaur and you're like I'm, it's supposed to be a I'm dinosaur. destroying the fossil fuels. <laughs> but yeah, I just don't like Meyer Lurks in a Fallout, even those like no. I don't like those. I got you. And they go like that, like you can hear them. It's just like, oh, yeah, uh. like the clicking noises or whatever. And the fact that they they're hard to kill. buy like um like kids themed kind of meals, like alphabet spaghetti and just well, I don't, Smiley face potatoes. I don't buy my own wedges. food right now, but I'd probably buy SpaghettiOs if I was on my own. Because uh, mm. SpaghettiOs Cause are I, I still buy those kind of things myself. Like, because my mom doesn't buy it because she's, you know, grown and she f- assumes I'm a grown up, but I'm really not because I still collect like, right. figurines and crap. I still buy Happy Meals. I go to McDonald's oh my um, gosh. <laughs> every couple of months. I buy. Ha- Sometimes they have really good toys. Like, um, what was it called? <laughs> A few months ago, they had, uh, what do you call it, Mario toys from Nintendo. And they had, like, proper figurines, like an actual Mario figurine. Had the Luigi, Prince, Princess Peach. I bought all of that crap. I actually have a friend that works at McDonald's, and I always ask them what toys they're selling. <laughs> so I could just, like, ask them to grab a few for me. you like the guy that's, like, um, remember the Milo, the brony guy ages oh. ago? He's like, do you have my uh, Twilight Princess? figurine uh, like, there's a big believe. difference between collecting figurines from nintendo and <laughs> my, little pony. my little pony <laughs> yeah I, I thought caleb was they the one that pokemon was bad figurines but they they do, you're well. the true so those pokemon uh, figures are kind of fire but i ain't buying a whole happy meal for it we gotta convert you now because caleb be the whole the happy meal? It's like two pound fifty which is like right, four but I, dollars I'm, just, it's... I'm not i'm not buying that <laughs> I, I, I require more buy... food i require no 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 food. when you buy that pokemon figurine it comes with a pokemon card as well with like the original logo in the back and everything like that that yeah. shit was awesome that was cool i had the i still have the chimchar one that was oh, like i have a piplup I nice. think, somewhere <laughs> But no, we just get... I'm looking behind because I'm assuming I have it somewhere displayed in my room. I can't see it because I have so much crap. Oh, they also did um, the Amazing World of Gumball. I have Gumball. I have freaking um, Darwin and that orange guy that works in the school. I forgot his name, but I have him too. Wow. And as I'm saying all of that, I'm like literally just looking. Like, my head is tilted <laughs> back. I'm looking behind me the whole time. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> We what just need Noble to bully you into submission so you'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what that's what he did to Caleb because we're like Caleb, you're blowing your money you on just the shit, and it's like stop buying. Mega so now he needs to whip you into shape, <laughs> buying Happy Meals. Dude, the amount of actual toys from McDonald's that I threw away because I didn't like them. There were so many. Also, when you get delivery from McDonald's, like we have Uber Eats, I'm assuming you guys yeah, have yeah, a yeah, similar yeah. app. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. When yeah, you yeah. Uh, when you order something from there and it just arrives and they miss like one little thing, it pisses you off. 
but recently what they started doing to me, and that's the reason I stopped ordering McDonald's from Uber Eats, whenever I ask for a Happy Meal, I see what kind of toys they have. I see they have awesome toys over there that I can get, but they give me a stupid little picture book from like 10 years ago. I don't even know where they pull that crap out. Like It shouldn't exist because they haven't been making those picture books for the past... Oh, my PC is closing down. That's fine. I don't want to update. Fuck off. Um, what do you call it? <laughs> Um, chaos strikes <laughs> there's little picture books like that didn't exist for like a whole year and suddenly they just appear in my happy meal like where the hell do you come from and they have a little coupon for a book like you get one pound off a book if you go to the library yeah. i don't fucking want that crap i want my pokemon toy that's the reason i ordered happy meal but yeah haven't been ordering from them since then because they two times in a row just gave me a stupid book and Fuck it pissed me shit. off yeah like it ruined my mood and everything because like half of my um, happiness, happiness actually comes from a happy meal toy. So just ruined it. I cannot remember the last time, if ever, a food place has like ruined my order. I've just been like extremely I can. lucky. <laughs> oh, I haven't I been can. in England, but I'm telling you. I feel like you've told me this story. <laughs> you mean for me, my story yeah, with yeah, the Burger you, King yeah. incident? Yeah, with the Burger dude, King. Fuck yeah. Burger King, dude. They're so. <laughs> I love. Number one, they're expensive. And well, I remember they had student discounts as well. Burger King? And expensive? even with the student discounts, it was still like way more expensive than other restaurants. Burger like, King and expensive should not be in the same sentence. Let's go. Like, once again, you haven't been to England. Like, the prices over here are stupid. <sighs> you guys have like. Comes to is, you guys have like beef shortages or something over there? I don't know. There was way a year when we ran out of chicken. Did that happen everywhere around the world, or just England? I don't think that happened here. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember having a chicken. Uh, we, there was actually a shortage of chicken in KFC in England at yes. one point. <laughs> oh my gosh! I wanted uh, to say that. We're on the, whilst we're on the topic of Halo Five. Oh my gosh! I wanted, I'm I writing wanted to down say the time signature for that. I'm, I was not going to make it in. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Um, going back to like the children's food thing, it's like. I went to the grocery store today and like I I just wanted to get some like because I'm going to go on vacation uh, or air quotes vacation. I, I have business to do in Maryland. Uh, okay. Going on, I got a score to settle. Yeah, I got a score to settle. I have I'm, I have air quotes business to do in Maryland um, next week. And uh, I just I wanted to get some groceries now so I don't starve until then. But I don't want to get anything like, you know, that'll spoil that's that'll spoil. Right. Yeah. And so, like, I'm just like, I, I go to the frozen food section. So I just get some chicken tenders because, you know, like, fuck it. I'd, chicken tenders, like f- throw them in the microwave oven or like, you know, toaster oven or the hell. And then, you know, have those for like lunch. And it's like that should that should do me good because I don't eat much. Um, And then, like, I'm looking at just like regular ass chicken tenders, and there's like kids' chicken tenders, and the kids' chicken tenders are more expensive. And I'm like, yo, they're really ripping off parents out here, man. Jesus Christ. (laughs) Or college students who just want some dino chicken nuggies. Like, damn, man, I don't know. But it's like, just make your own. You're right. Grind up your own chicken and then make them into the dinosaur shapes. I I feel like that's even cheaper, too. I went to university. I do remember actually university food in the cafeteria being like way, way cheaper than what you'd be able to find outside. Like they'll actually. But was give it you good like... food? Um, I mean, they had chips. That was the only thing I ever really ordered from them. French fries. They had like. Have to preface chips for for, for the for the American. I mean, I understand because I'm cultured, but yeah. for those that aren't, right? It's like you guys and your football and your I don't know. This everything's different. Fahrenheit. Soccer. Yeah. Hey, I've, soccer originated yeah. from England, so I don't even want to hear it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. The term soccer came from England, so I don't even know what the beef is. Mm. All right, well. well. <laughs> anyway, you guys wanted to talk about Halo 5 Forge, right? Oh, I yeah, have Forge, no place so... in this conversation because well, we, I don't want Forge. Well, but... we've kind of gone off track. But if there was right, no track to be set bit, in begin, to begin with, I don't think. So it's a... Uh, it's... Well, me and Yeti have both started forging on Halo 5. You forge on Xbox, I'm assuming, still. Yeah, I would forge on PC if it just was, like, more accessible, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, forge B- and PC, uh, freaking forge on PC only allows you to do custom games and forge. It doesn't allow you to do multiplayer. Yeah. And it's not backwards compatible, so if you do want to do custom games, you can't play with people that are on Xbox, which is 
annoying. I think so. that'll change though. I think now that they're doing MCC, I'm hoping they'll go back and at least. Oh, you say that, but recently I, I tried to upload screenshots from my map um, onto um, Xbox Live because when you take a screenshot, I, I can put it on my PC and then I have to like upload it onto Xbox Live. The feature for that has been taken out in September last year, so <laughs> you're no longer allowed to even like mm. link your screenshots oh to your gosh. maps anymore. So when you say that they're gonna go back to Halo Five Forge on PC, yeah, I, I don't think low. that's gonna happen. <laughs> Being optimistic, do you think they would ever like port Halo Five to PC? Well, that's what out? I was saying. Like, I, I I like to think they would, but I I guess too, it's like the the, the money. I mean, well, like I the money versus for them to the, just, the effort. You know, like I, I prefer might... for them to just drop MCC, drop everything to do that is not that doesn't have anything to do with Halo Infinite. Just Focus on Halo Infinite for the whole year and give us right. a good game. Well, they have a because, crazy yeah, huge team now, so they're I actually bet able you, to do that. If they just dropped MCC five years ago when it got released and it was broken and just left it to die, we would have had Infinite like ages ago. I no, right? But that. I mean, no, I don't know. I think I still appreciate MCC. I think Microsoft it's was clear. I don't think this is clear what they're doing. They're going the long game. You know, they want to have that reputable business. Like, um, like they want to have a good reputation, and doing stuff for their fans, I guess first is what they want to do, and like they don't really care about like the financial slash. I can so, understand where they're coming from with that, but honestly, when you release a broken game and you spend four years fixing it, I I don't want to play that game. Well, they didn't really years spend four years. Fixed. They kind of like stopped trying to fix it after a certain point. Because then they worked on Halo Five, and then they and, and then they came, came back, back because there was there you know, nothing was going on. Uh, and but realistically, how many people actually play MCC on a regular basis it. nowadays? I play, oh, yeah, a lot of PC I, people I too. <laughs> dude, <laughs> lying to me. Well, no, dude, this because it's like I guess it's one of those things where since you don't really play, you don't know. It's kind of like me with the Fall Guys being dead, like. Literally, I just played it today because this is the footage in the background is Fall Guys. There's actually a lot of people playing it still, you know? So, I think that's the same with Halo. Yeah. Halo! I think it's just because, <laughs> just because you're not playing, it doesn't necessarily mean it's dead, I guess. Well, it's nowhere near as popular as, like, I think if still more people play Halo 5 than people play No, MCC. dude. On PC? Are you serious? Halo 3 PC? Like... It's uh, popping, dude. Like, it's popping. It's popping. <laughs> dude, <clears throat> voice cracks out the ass, man. I don't understand how so many people can get excited about a game that's been released like 10 because years ago. Because it's not on PC. All the PC kids are like, please. That's why they got El Dorito, whatever it was called. They were, everyone's like, please. El Dorado. Give me that. El Dorito. <laughs> El Dorito. And then that's why they were so excited for that. Because Halo hasn't been on PC and since what? Halo 2? Halo 2. So, or at least unless you count Halo Wars, I think Halo Wars is on PC. But like, bro. I was really disappointed with Halo Wars too. Don't know about I know. you guys, but like, I wish. Have you guys ever played StarCraft Two? Yes. No. Yeah, StarCraft. Star is well, like StarCraft dope. Two has a kind of different concept to what Halo Wars is. Halo Wars, you have bases and locations that you can only build bases in those specific locations, whereas StarCraft Two allows you to build anywhere. buildings anywhere on the map, Unless so you can like, like hide it in a corner in an area that is I don't know, like you wouldn't expect a building to be in, which I think makes it a mo much more strategic game, which is what Halo Wars Two was meant to be—a strategic game, but. It was just a copy of Halo Wars 1, I felt, with some new structures and um, units, and that was it. The only thing that like, disappointed that me a blip game type, was but, the, I mean, um, like, the, you know, you want to make, like, huge armies, right? And I felt like I couldn't make, mm -hmm. like, it was, I couldn't make an army that was that much bigger than Halo Wars 1. Yeah, it was still pretty much the same. But like, I don't the know campaign was good. I like the cutscenes and all of that, but. Like, I also linked Halo 5 to Halo Infinite, so there's, like, at least we have something between the, those two games, so, like, it's, right. not, it's not just gonna be like, oh, Master Chief is now on this Halo ring, like, what the fuck is going on, why are the brutes over here, who the fuck is, what's, what's the, the guy's name from Halo Wars 2, the bad guy, Atriox? Atriox. Atriox, Atriox. yeah. Who the fuck is Atriox now, now we know, and I'm kind of excited for Bruce to come back in the Halo um, Infinite now as well. 
I'm hoping they're gonna add some really cool designs, like the chief teens, chief teens, chief teens, what were they called? <laughs> chief teens, <laughs> hot single yeah. chief teens in your area. <laughs> I know and that's where we're bringing this conversation and... back to porn. It's like, just start. Like, just... <laughs> oh, no. Because <laughs> I know they're going to have, like, other units from the Covenant, like the Grunts and Jackals. I don't know if they're going to have Elites, because if you guys have... have... Elites, I, think. I don't know if you guys have read the books, but, like, Elites, the Arbiters, um, Elites at least, from St. Helios, Dude, the they kind of, like, separate Hilo back from Covenant. So... Like... Basically, the Covenant broke apart. Pretty much, and all the least just went back to San Helios to defend There's the home planet because like, like a rebellion. In the gameplay trailer for Infinite. So yeah, they're yeah, they're elites and they're, they're literally in there. Oh yeah, I did see elites. I, I don't <laughs> think it's like the what you call it. I don't think there should be as many though, as I know, like on other Halos, the elites were kind of like very numerous. There was a lot of them, but there shouldn't be that many on Halo Infinite because if the, if they go by law, like by the law, there shouldn't be. Because they're they kind of like split off from the main Covenant army, and yeah, they well, shouldn't be around as much. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> it looks like Halo Infinite's. I think it'll be good, but it, it kind of is not following the you know, normal template. I think it's funny how like how salty Caleb is about like Infinite. It's like, oh, it's gonna be shit. It's gonna be ass, and it's like, yo, you're still gonna buy it, and he's gonna be the one playing it the buy most. It, yeah, he's, he's still gonna <laughs> buy it. He's still gonna play it. I just, I'm not gonna lie. If they have like, um. A special edition like a figurine i think i might go for oh it oh my gosh i always try to like it well, depends what kind um... of figurine it is if it's like an awesome figurine that i wouldn't mind displaying in my room i'll buy it but if it's something crap like just a standard statue of master chief like i don't want to buy a master chief i can buy a master chief from ebay for like a few bucks right now if i wanted to i want to have like a statue of some big enemy or whatever like even atrox i would buy atrox with a giant ass gravity hammer but that would be pretty cool well, usually they also have like a little um, picture book and all of that, like little collectibles that you can get with a special edition or collector's mm-hmm. edition, whatever it's called. So it's not yeah. just a statue. You, there's like a one tier lower below the statue edition where you still right. get some accessories with it. That's usually the special edition, and then the collector's edition has like the yeah yeah. Have you guys statue. ever bought like the collect? I've never bought a collector's edition of anything. I'm sure you have recon just by the way you're talking, but. Ian, I guess you haven't bought one, have you? I haven't either. Uh, if there is any one thing that I could have gotten a like, collector's edition, in hindsight, mind you, uh, if I could have gotten a collector's edition of like anything, uh, and I know, I know, like if Zanny or Noble here, like they they'd be like Destiny Kid, but it's like the Beyond Light like collector's edition or like that like top tier Beyond Light like edition. I was like, yo, that shit looks good. What is uh, in like it? all the stuff that you get. Uh, I don't even remember oh, anymore. I just remember like seeing some like it had like a bunch of like really cool stuff in it. And I was like, yeah, you know, like I like collect like I like small collectible things. You know what I mean? Like or not mm. like booklets or like books or whatever. And it's like, oh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, but also there's that. And then there's like. I think Titanfall 2 and Titanfall 1 had like their own respective like collector editions or whatever. And like. I would have loved to have had those, cause like dude, the Beyond the Light collector's edition's wild. Like you get like a bag, and, like a book. Yeah, you get like a flask for your alcoholism. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Didn't they have Crip. something similar with Fallout? I don't think it was a they, collector's edition, but they had it on the store. You get they like, had, like they had a bullshit. yeah. So that's um no. So I think I know what Recon's talking about. Uh, Fallout 76. Oh, yeah, the 76 uh, had the bag that they said was, They like... had the bag that, like, was gonna be, like, a canvas bag or whatever, it and it was like, nah, dude, this is dog <laughs> shit, like, nylon or whatever the hell it is, and it's like, yeah. Uh, like, yeah. It was meant to be, like, a flask case, but it just ended up being, like, a plastic case right. for a flask case, and people were pretty... Oh, yeah, and then, oh, what, what was it? Wasn't there, like, didn't they have, like, some, like nuka cola or whatever but yeah it's yeah like, that, that was it's it. not, that was meant yeah that was then, meant to be the shape of the flask but it was just like a plastic covering for a flask and right it was, it's it was like, just shit. <laughs> and the thing is Come it took on. them like over a year to release it right was, like, being overhyped yeah. and people like by the time it got released it was like oh then it came with, like a helmet too i think right i thought it came with a helmet something came with a helmet as well with Fallout, the Fallout 76. 76 collectors i'm like googling collectors editions all over the place now um, whilst we're on the topic of collector's edition, though, 
I haven't actually bought a new collector's edition, but I bought like the tier below, like the special ones for the special most games. Or whatever. Yeah, the collector ones. I never felt the need to buy like an oversized figurine because none of them were high quality enough for me to buy. Right. And I know I buy like Happy Meal toys, but when it comes to things like that cost like a well, hundred more pounds for me. Yeah. To like so. Get, hold on. Hold on. You I'd make expect a good something. You, yeah. I'd so like you make that a has good... like detail upon detail upon detail. Right. So when you look at it with a magnifying glass, you just see like tiny little scratches that you wouldn't see with a naked okay. eye. Like that's There's the kind right. of stuff I want. You get the uh, helmet. Fallout seventy six is called Power Armor Edition. You get the helmet. Right. The canvas quotations bag. Ever. You get like a special design box, a map with some figures, like army men that look like right. Fallout characters, and then like booklets and crap. Mm-hmm. You probably do get the bottle, but I just. I don't see it in here. No, the bottle was something else. It was on a store. There was like a separate yeah. thing that people requested for a long time. And it was just a 3D printed piece of plastic at the end. Yeah. <laughs> what but is yeah, it? The um, only collector's edition that I actually some of them got, are pretty good. which I didn't buy, um, was from Call of Duty Ghost. I won that oh um, at Eurogamer. And it came with something pretty cool. It came with a GoPro, which had like hmm. a 180 degree field of view in front of you, which I thought was like really fucking cool. And I took a recording of me walking around um what do you call it, a convention center during um like an anime con and you could just like see pretty much from my left to my right and all the way in the front and like up and down. Like you could see everything that my eyes could see. And that was like really fucking awesome. Dang. But yeah. And it was, I think only the first 500 people that entered the convention got it. Because it was like a first come, first serve kind of thing. Like if you arrive early enough to that convention, right. um, the people got it. But the funny thing is, uh, it was actually a pretty funny story because I went there um, in a cosplay at the time and all that. And I think me and my friends, we, it was like four of us, we were the first um, like 20 people to be in line. And when you, we arrived at midnight, and like over the next couple of hours, like more and more people arrive, and eventually there was like thousands of people in the line. And once the doors opened, there was no like order or anything. It was just chaos. People just they just told us, "Oh yeah, you line up over there for the figurine for the collector's edition," and everyone just start running. They just start dashing through the hole, trying to get to the other side. Or one guy falling over to his knees, and people stamping over him <laughs> as everyone else. Man, just... it's real. It's, it is real. It, Fall Black guys. Friday, Fall, like... Fall guys is real, man. <laughs> and my, one of my friends actually helped him out and got him back on his feet. But like we were number twenty in the line, all of that, and we ended up being like number two hundred by the time we got to the actual thing. So it was like we didn't have to get there at midnight. We could have gotten there like at normal time, we think, and we still would have gotten it. Maybe. Just because they threw out of the window the idea of you lining up and being first come first serve, it was just like we open right. the doors and you go just go it. in. It's just run, just run to it and make a fucking mad dash. <laughs> Pretty much, and that was like costume and everything. And I, I was so worried by a piece of. Um, I think I was wearing my Gungnir freaking cosplay at the time <laughs> from Halo, and that was a mess. That was an absolute mess of a cosplay. I really want to remake that. I want to make the Gungnir helmet at one point. I think that would be pretty cool. And I probably want to make something with like a camera at the front and the screen inside of a helmet so I can see out. I think that would be pretty Dang. cool. See, but, Recon, yeah. we don't need topics. You just we'll just let you go loose, and you'll just. <laughs> we've, I think oh, we. Dude, got some I wild think stories, we've jumped man. from like <laughs> five subjects in the span of five minutes. Like it's crazy. Oh yeah, I can come up. I can pull stuff out of my ass pretty easily. Not literally, but yeah. Um, From the memory bank. uh, I was was hoping literally, Dan. And my Destiny (laughs) 2 cosplay as well. That's coming along pretty well. I am like halfway finished with my helmet right now. My anti-extinction helmet from Destiny Mm. 2. So that's coming along pretty darn Oh yeah, okay. It took me a second. I was like, wait, I I used that one for like two seconds and then I changed it. Yeah. Also, what on the topic of Destiny, um, Beyond Light, were you guys disappointed with it? Oh, no. Because really I cool. sure was. Not even close. It was, really it was good. good. You guys really enjoyed it. Yeah, there's really? so much content in it. Like, I mean... Did you do everything, or did you just do the main story? I did everything in, like, the first two days, pretty much. No, but you didn't do everything, though. Not everything, everything, but, like, the f- everything that could have done at the time, I have done in the first two days, and then I was, like, right, left so... with a week of nothing. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. 
it's like just uh, i get it like i understand it's like at the beginning it's like oh yo like like because i i can understand like people are like oh that's it like that's that's all there was like at the beginning it's like sure fine but it's like you also have to realize like they have to do stuff for a whole seat like for a whole season right so it's like oh, i already I knew that. so like i already knew when like this uh, like when the dlc dropped it's like it's not gonna be crazy like everything's here right at the beginning like you know it's like i had like i knew like as soon as the dlc drops it's like all right well, campaign and then it's a power grind because i'm trying to do the raid like day one or whatever and then after the raid dropped and after the raid was completed that's when more shit dropped because it's like oh yeah the fucking i mean if you don't if you're playing destiny you don't know it's like oh fucking spoilers sorry the fucking deep soden crypts fell from the fucking sky or like you know the satellite or whatever the hell fell from the sky and fucking landed on europa and now there's like a whole bunch of shit going on with like the darkness and the fucking deep sun crypt and all that shit so it's like there's the a lot to do darkness stasis was fucking broken <laughs> the first week first two weeks even it was just i don't un- even think they know PvP how to balance pvp i don't <laughs> nah, think i just avoided pvp, PvP for like three weeks until they started nerfing stasis I, i'm still avoiding it <laughs> as much <laughs> no, as possible. you should be because it's it's still broken like i don't understand how people will say that stasis is anywhere near as balanced as like i don't know thunder crash from titan which is my favorite subclass by the way um like you just freeze someone and you shoot them in the head and there's nothing there's no counterplay to it it's like press b to break free like bro I'm, I'm dead I, I i don't need to press b i'm dead there's nothing <laughs> nothing that's gonna <laughs> save me over here Ugh, well, I from think his they flask. His, uh, his fall yeah, they, they should have, <laughs> what they should have done instead is like instead of it being like a freeze option, it just slows you. And I think that would have been fine. Like I don't think people would have complained about it at that point. I don't mind the ultimates freezing you because it's an ultimate. Like it should do something incredible. But even the ultimates, even after the nerfs, especially the warlock one, I think that's still broken because they can destroy someone. That they don't freeze. If someone else is frozen somewhere on the map and they do that, like the little wish move and the wave, that little, yeah, yeah, yeah. like no, it will still kill someone that they, they didn't moves. freeze. And I think that's bullshit because if you don't, if you don't hit the person and you can still kill them with an AOE that don't, doesn't aim or anything, like I know there's the two ultimates are dumb and broken. Some of them, Thunder Crush, for example, once again, good example, broken ultimate, it always guarantees you a kill unless someone pops a bubble or something. Yeah, <laughs> nah, that's a guaranteed kill. <laughs> Still, all I'm saying Stasis is broken. Destiny two PvP doesn't exist for me, so I stopped playing. Is it. that now that I've got the <laughs> Destiny two drip, I'm good. Like I've played, I guess I you know played it where my power level was low, so I couldn't like look cool. But now I got the style, the right. fashion, the drip. It's it's mm-hmm. a good game. <laughs> that's that's when Destiny becomes good. It's when you get the drip. That's all about that true prophecy with <clears throat> Rampage. It's the... So, uh, Yeti, you want to raid tonight? <laughs> you want to raid? Like, I'm good. I don't, need, I don't need to play Destiny. Uh, but do you want to raid? <laughs> nah, I don't know. They're bringing Vault of Glass next, right? Yeah, Vault. I don't think I've ever done Vault of But I don't think glass. they're going to make it like a proper copy. I think they're remastering it. They're making it different. I think... I think they said the mechanics would say the same and the encounters would say mostly the same. I don't know. Is Vault of Glass on, uh, um, uh, Cosmodrome, drone, whatever it's called? No, it's gonna be. Uh, it'll probably be. Uh, on Nessus. It, it no, because it was yeah, it was on it was on Venus in D one, but it'll probably be on Nessus. Because they wiped, yeah, they wiped Venus. Well, I mean, Venus wasn't even in D two. It wasn't. Unless they unless they bring back. Venus oh, it was I O. Next, they like kind of. I feel like Nessus and I O like. I can't allow what I say. I completely forgot they even destroyed half the planets because I never go to them. I wouldn't link Zeros around. (laughs) Yeah, I never went there. Like, whatever, man. That's what I mean, though. Like, that's what's so weird about Destiny 2, at least, is they have. Like, I already said this before, but not on here, was that they just use the random ass locations because you think, oh, what's like cool planets? You're like, oh, Mars. They got Earth, Mars, the moon, like Mercury, like big planets, and then. They're like these tiny areas, and they're like, hey, how about Io Titan? It's like, who even gives a crap, dude? Like, mm-hmm. these ra- I mean, Europa's cool, because everybody knows about Europa, I'd say. Like, maybe not everyone, but you've definitely heard of it. But it's just like, I wish they just did more proper planets, I guess. 
to make it seem more like relatable. <laughs> yeah, I mean that'd be cool. <laughs> I mean, but we can't go on any of those planets because of gas planets. Like, we can't go to Saturn or Jupiter because of gas planets. Yeah, but other people could make I the games on there about that. They're dumb, so they. But at least like Mars. Like, if they brought back Mars, I'd be happy. Just uh. We had Mars and Destiny one, though, didn't we? We had it in both. Yeah, but it's just like now that they actually know how to design areas, I'd hope they'd make it. At least the team that does. Beyond Light and Forsaken know how to make areas. I remember the quote that they said at the, like before Destiny 1 even came out, or before the bear came out. The quote said, if you can see it, you can go there. And I've been using that quote as a way to mock the game for the longest amount of time. Because at the beginning, like you assumed it was going to be like this huge environment that you could yeah. just go anywhere you want. And it, it was disappointing when they launched and like you had this specific route that you could take, and that was it. You couldn't go anywhere else. It was kind of like meh imagine what it could have been if they just allowed you to explore like countless areas on countless planets like not even countless planets like even if they had four planets at the end of the day just being able to explore like imagine if they were just i don't know even like three or four times bigger how much different that would be and how much more they could have done with it well i also think though with if you have a big space there's a lot of just dead air i guess like not every space would be useful I mean, in a perfect world, yeah, you'd have everything evenly dispersed, but it's just not the case, I guess. So then people would complain about, like, oh, I never even go to this area. Like, why is it even here? You know? So. Right, right. I think the. I mean, that's how I felt about Areas are pretty good size. Like, especially Europa. IO. Europa's good. It's like, I. It's like, it's like, I. Like, to be honest, it's like, it's like, I never go to IO. Why is this a place I go to? It's like, I, I thought IO was a really pretty planet and, like, all that stuff. I was like, oh yeah, I like being here on Io, but it's like, why, why am I here? Yeah. Like, why am I here? <laughs> <sighs> they, 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 made it, they made it good for like one, no, two seasons. One, if you don't count uh, Season of the Worthy, because Season of the Worthy is. The only reason I ever went to Io is just so I can complete the interference mission later. <laughs> Yeah, it was into it was interference. Like it was like what the your reason. Last season. By the way, Beyond Light, the actual campaign for it, a uh, fuck whoever decided to make it so you have to go back to barracks after every single tiny little thing you do, and then have to go all the way north to actually initiate the next mission. <laughs> back and forth, back and forth, zone, one back and forth. Zone. If they just added it, an extra like well, they do have two, but one's the exo stranger. Somewhere. It's like exo stranger. Oh yeah. Which is like, yeah. Uh, why would you give one over there? Which is like, it's so much closer. It's because you have to go talk to her so much. Is why. I know, but it's her robot yeah, titties. It's pretty much half the campaign is you <laughs> talking to Varix and Exo Stranger and looking at her ass because that was the only good quality. No robo the titties, dude. <laughs> robo dude, titties. I would pipe Exo Stranger. And with that, <laughs> that's all the time <laughs> we have. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, what was the other guy's name? The the big guy, the big robot. Oh, the head. The Clovis? Exo Strangers, Exo Strangers, um, dad or whatever. Yeah, Clovis Ray. Clovis, have they done <laughs> anything with him yet? Because I haven't played Destiny for a bit. Yeah, like they've been doing stuff with him. Yeah, I'm telling you, because um, gave up on it too he's early, like on the factory or whatever, and people are speculating that he's gonna become like a giant robot at one point, like a giant Exo. They slowly being built up, but it's just a head at the moment. <laughs> So, not sure if that's gonna happen in the next DLC or whatever. That um, Clovis is gonna become like a next raid boss or whatever. I know. <laughs> Pretty interesting. To see. I don't know. <clears throat> but anyway, I think you should give it another shot. Uh, I think there's a lot of things like Halo Five Forge. You know, you're going back to that, so you should give uh, Destiny Two another go because they've added tons of stuff. Um, and I'm not even really a big Destiny player, but it converted me pretty quick so i don't know yeah i think i'll just wait for the next dlc to come out <laughs> oh, that's such a lame way anyway <laughs> i think i've got like every single exotic every single good weapon like all my exotics i've got rolls there's not really much pulling me back into the game right now other than just grinding and trying to get better legendaries which i already have good god rolls of as well they just they didn't add enough to pull me in I know they added, I uh, still need to get that sniper rifle, the Cloud Strike, I think it's called. Oh, yeah, I got that mm -hmm. one. 
Just the other day. Yeah, the last weapon I got was the Lament, the sword. And that was it. And the mission for that wasn't annoying. That as annoying as some of the other exotics. Also that the Hawk Moon. How how's that feel? I have it's no good. clue. I like Hawk Moon. Okay. Before we go down, <laughs> I mean, what, I'm like I want to go down another rabbit hole of like exotics. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, do you want like do you want to go down this rabbit hole or do you just like it's like it's a good gun, like it's good, <laughs> like it's not Destiny One, and I think that's a good thing. It's like it's not the Destiny One Hawk Moon. I think that's a good thing. It's like it's a more skillful gun than it was before. I don't think there's any exotic hand cannon that I'm really like peculiar about using for both PVE and PVP. Like, I think they should have Ace. released a hand cannon that's a bit more PVE based or something. Because whenever you go to PVE, you just never use something like a hand cannon or an assault rifle. I think assault rifles are good if you use the Arctic War or something like that. I think there's a chess piece for a Titan that allows you to shoot mm. assault rifles indefinitely. Yeah. So that's the only reason you'd ever use an exotic assault rifle. But then again, legendary ones are still good. You know, in Hangar, still pretty strong. Uh, what else? The Summoner as well. Do you guys play Trials? Oh my gosh. No. Whoa. Because <laughs> <It's like, laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they released those other adept weapons and like the, with extra <clears throat> perks or extra stats. Does that make too much of a big difference? Because I haven't I've looked heard it into doesn't. that. I've, I heard it, I've heard it doesn't, but I don't know. All I hear uh, is Trials is pain. And you should never attend. It is. This has oh, become a should... Destiny podcast. I know. That's why I'm, should... I'm trying to wrap no, it you up. You should try but... Trials on PC <laughs> and try to get into a game that doesn't have at least one hacker in it. Like, me and my friends, whenever we play Trials, at least once every few games would go up against someone who's aimbotting, and it was just very clear that he's aimbotting because he's Snap hitting to you. both. Yeah, like, not even looking in my direction. He just does a 180 degree turn and just popped my head. He popped me out of my Thunder Crush when I was like, doing that little going left and right left and right i'm sorry but no matter how good of a sniper you are you're not hitting someone that's thunder crashing straight into you and zigzagging as he goes <laughs> into your face because i remember that very well and that pissed me off so much i was like guys my ultimate is ready i'm gonna go in i'm gonna get a double kill at least over here go in I, as i come around I, I even came out of the corner it's not like i was going in a straight line i came out of the corner he just popped me before i hit the ground Bullshit. Also, whenever you use Thunder Crash, okay. it's not going to piss me off. Whoa, 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 I'm sorry, whoa, 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 no, because I played PvP with we got it. We got to gotta end it. We got to end this. We gotta, we gotta cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Done. Up. Done. We're done. It pisses me off, dude. God we're done. It. We're done with Destiny. We gotta end it. I think it up. All right, guys. While he's drinking his alcohol. Continue to submit emails at our email address in the description. But if you're too lazy to look up the email, it's createroomofficial at gmail.com, all lowercase, all one word. We still, Like I said, last episode we have questions, but we'll, I'm going to wait till more, like all of us are back to, to answer them. Right. I think it would be more appropriate. But thank you guys for listening to the Destiny 2 Experience podcast. Destiny Room. <laughs> Destiny, just Destiny, it's fine. Destiny and co- to the uh, Recon show, complaining about video game show. Recon just popped off, dude. He just complains just about Halo complain and Destiny. Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> My specialty. Um, even though you're I'll playing bitch about them anything. both. Give me a topic to bitch about. I'll bitch about it. I'll find and a way. The collectible I'll show. I'll bitch about churches. But, uh, all right. The collectible conversation was actually kind of good, though. Okay. I will see you guys next week. <laughs> We're never going <laughs> to end. Fuck Stasis. See ya.